Now, a little bit of breaking news for you now on Dame Alison Rose, the former chief executive of NatWest Group. And uh, Mark Lyman has hot-footed into the studio, our city editor. So, Mark, what can you tell us? Yeah, and I mean, this, Anna, this is confirmation of the story we were reporting last night that uh, NatWest, uh, one of Britain's biggest banks, was going to cancel the majority of the potential £10 million plus payout that could have been awarded to Dame Alison Rose, who of course left in July amid that debanking row uh, with Nigel Farage, the former UKIP leader. We've just had confirmation to the London Stock Exchange from NatWest that it has indeed cancelled uh, share awards worth a total of £4.7 million. In addition uh, to that £4.7 million, NatWest has also confirmed that it won't pay any uh, bonus or additional award to uh, Dame Alison for her work during the course of this year until she left NatWest. That would have amounted to a potential further £2.8 million. So in total, Dame Alison Rose is forfeiting uh, potential bonuses and share awards worth £7.6 million. Now, however, she is being paid, as we reported last night, uh, her salary uh, and fixed share awards, her, basically the fixed pay elements of her pay package, uh, up to a total uh, between now and the end of her 12-month notice period of about £1.75 million. That's in addition to another uh, three quarters of a million pounds that she's already received since she left in July. So in total, her payoff is uh, worth about two and a half million pounds. Now, um, this is something of a compromise that uh, the board has reached with Dame Alison Rose. Uh, Nigel Farage last night said that he welcomed the fact that she wouldn't receive anything like the full payout, but we'll be interested to hear his reaction now that this uh, news has been confirmed. Now that we've got the details. Yeah, Mark, thanks very much indeed. I'm sure he will be speaking later at some point. Thank you.